So I'm a former architect, and what I found when I started painting is that that gave me a set of opinions about the built environment and how we build things all over, and they serve our purposes, and then things change, circumstances change, and we abandon these structures uh, to really live a life of their own. And scenes like this, the, the abandoned uh, former L tracks that have been half ripped down. Plants are growing on them, they're crumbling, the paint is peeling. And for me, this, is, um, uh, this expresses a Japanese aesthetic called sabi, where sabi is the, uh, the beauty inherent in the old, the dilapidated, uh, peeling paint, um, a barn with uh, paint peeling off of it, or in my case, crumbling concrete, or, or uh, here's a good example right here, and the paint that's scaling off of rusted overpasses. So I'm also interested in documenting parts of the city that aren't usually thought to have any aesthetic value. And that's why the show is called Hidden City. These things are usually hidden from our uh, consciousness. We flash by them in our cars. Um, we don't pay them any attention because they're not beautiful in the traditional sense. So I like to document the beauty that I find in the old, the forgotten, the uh, unused, things that have outlived their original purpose and um, have found, uh, I think, a totally new type of charm. And if you, if you can get a close-up of, of this uh, chain-link fence, too, she's obviously spent uh, some kind of time getting the texture of the chain-link in this uh, very abandoned industrial site, which most people would drive right by and, and say, well, that's certainly not painting material. <laughs> Well, that's from the back of the yards. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, back of the yards. So there were gold black stores all over the city, and each one needed its water tower, but that's the only one that survived, so far as I know. Is that in a photograph, all of the lights in the dark values have the same texture. In a painting, notice how Meredith has used a little bit thicker paint in the light areas than she has in the shadow areas. And that's what gives the painting the, the three-dimensional quality that it has. It has a person in it. It does. Unlike a lot of my stuff. I was and, just and, saying. And looking at cell phone, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I love it. This kind of urban uh, sparseness it has a cool factor when it's translated into paint on canvas. Mm -hmm. It has an appeal. It makes you, as I said before, see the city in a different way. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were waiting for her, maybe. Okay, bye, bye, bye.